Hi everyone. I hope you all had a great long weekend. Although we couldn't really fully enjoy it, I suppose, but let's look on the, uh, the upside. Hopefully you had some time to connect with uh, family and friends. Um, so this is Mike from the Athletic and Recreation Department. I am the sport coordinator, um, usually at the Seneca York campus. Um, so it's Tuesday, um, May 19th, and we're just here for our weekly wellness walk uh, check-in. Um, so uh, I have a, a guest with me. So uh, this is my son, Nolan. He's just enjoy enjoying a healthy, nutritious snack. <laughs> keeping me company while I have my little walk here with you guys. Um, I had a little tripod here that I'm holding on to strapped to the, the stroller and it didn't, uh, didn't look very, uh, very smooth. It was pretty shaky. So uh, the little guy's in the stroller now and uh, hopefully he's in a good mood while we do this. <laughs> um, anyway, so just wanted to check in. Um, last uh, time we met, we did our f first kind of wellness Wednesday walk. Um, although today's Tuesday, it's just a weekly kind of check-in, um, just to kind of share some ideas as to why uh, walking is important. Um, so for starters, um, just a little bit of a recap from last week. Um, we we kind of discussed the differences between, you know, physical activity versus, um, you know, vigorous exercise, you know, high intensity uh, workouts and uh, what the difference is and the benefits of, of either or. Um, and what the purposes of what we're doing, just going to safely cross the sidewalk here, um, it's, it's based on the uh, Canadian Society for Exercise Physiology's um, Physical Activity Guidelines, which is um, trying to get for adults aged 18 to 64 is roughly 150 minutes of physical activity per week. Um, and you're trying to accumulate roughly 15 to 20 minutes a day of light to moderate activity, um, which is, you know, walking would be your old school kind of example of that. Um, obviously, working out with weights or running or jogging, your heart rate's gonna increase a little more uh, than what you would when you're walking. Um, so the recommendations for, our, for the Canadian Physical Activity Guidelines is about 50 to 65 percent of your uh, max heart rate, your target heart rate in this case. Um, so you're looking at a nice kind of leisure walk. Again with my little guy here, that's Nolan. <laughs> um, I'm not going to be running or sprinting with the little guy. Uh, so again it's just a, a little, uh, little brisk walk, um, usually solo or with the dog. Um, again this isn't meant to be a you know, high intense exercise. Hey guys, um, anyway, so that's the Canadian Physical Activity Guideline is 150 minutes a week of roughly, let's say, 50 to 65 percent of your uh, max heart rate. So pretty, pretty light uh, exercise. So this is something that most healthy individuals can do to, you know, not be sedentary and sitting around. I'm just going to turn around here. Um, most people can kind of do that, and that's why we kind of start. You know, simple and old-fashioned is just the walk. Um, so, and that's aerobic activity versus anaerobic or let's say weightlifting. This is just a light aerobic, you know, activity. Um, so, the next thing is basically what I had said last week for me individually, why I prefer, you know, walking as my kind of escape or my mental wellness escape. Um, for me, it's more get out of the house, put the laptop down, put the phone away, and just unplug and take a breather, um, disconnect from everything we see around us. And um, if you do have the luxury of having trails or a forest near you, enjoy nature. Uh, even if you're downtown Toronto, it's just a, it's another way to get outside and to um, just kind of be by yourself. And again, it's more of a mental wellness, mental health kind of break from the daily routine. Um, versus, you know, in high intense physical bout, uh, high intense workout. It's not, that's not the intention here. Um, again, even if you're an individual that works out, you know, every day, weight training, high intensity training, um, this is just meant to be kind of a, a light workout, okay? Um, and then lastly, 
uh, there's, there's an old kind of saying or people will say, hey, it's nice outside, uh, get outside, go for a walk, enjoy the beautiful sunshine. Um, and really, uh, people should go outside even if it's not beautiful and, and sunny and rainbows. If you look at it that way, <laughs> you're only really going to ever go for a walk when it's perfect weather and your, your standards or your expectations will be pretty high. So you want to try to get into the habit of going for a walk even when it's just overcast or like today for example it's kind of almost looks like it could rain at any any point <laughs> so you want to you want to be able to go and just any time obviously not during a snowstorm but um, you know any kind of weather that's not perfect um, you should be able to go out as well so um, and as well so I want to congratulate everyone and give you a huge huge uh, thumbs up for getting amazing numbers with the Terry Fox challenge that we're doing as the Seneca community. Um, I don't even know what we're at, but we're, <laughs> some people are getting, you know, 30, 40, 50,000 steps a day, um, which is absolutely amazing. So uh, congrats to you guys, it's a huge shout out. Um, I'm trying my best, but uh, it's, uh, it's a little hard, obviously, working from home and uh, with the toddler. So um, everyone has their, their obstacles, but uh, this is why I'm here to kind of just give you a nudge and um, try to get outside, enjoy that fresh air, and uh, everyone should uh, be well. All right, guys, so thanks again for joining me and the little guy, and uh, until next time, uh, be safe, be well, and uh, join us tomorrow at 10 a.m., uh, 12, 15, and 2 for our Be Well Live. See you guys.